take a deep breath because in this video right here we are going to be talking about the second biggest cryptocurrency in the whole entire world this is the biggest and most important price prediction i have ever made on this channel yes i am emotionally attached to this coin because i made a whole bunch of money off of it yes I am a nerd and they are creating the next infrastructure of the internet. They're making a world computer and yes, they have four times the amount of developers working on Ethereum than any other project in cryptocurrency guys. I don't know what else to say, but if you don't get with this technology, you will get left behind. Keep watching. everybody alex back with another cryptocurrency video and today we're going to be talking about the second biggest cryptocurrency in the whole entire world and i'm going to be giving you guys a price prediction a whole bunch of predictions i'm gonna give you like 30 predictions okay guys but before we get started if you haven't already subscribed to my channel my name is alex i talk about everything internet entrepreneurial if you're looking to make money on the internet this is definitely the channel for you all you have to do is hit that subscribe button as well as the push notification bell so you can get videos like this all the time. Guys, I'm not trying to showboat, brag with any Lamborghinis or anything like that. I'm simply giving you guys practical knowledge that you can apply to your life like today, all right? And I'm not trying to manipulate people. There's a lot of you know, YouTubers, especially cryptocurrency YouTubers, that like to take advantage of these market dumps, right? As you can see, the market right here is you know, going down a lot. A lot of people are getting scared. So to take advantage and get views, what they like to do is make these, you know, crazy thumbnail red videos, right? They have red in the, in the thumbnail and they're like, the market's going to crash. Can we, do we sell all our cryptocurrency? And they basically uh, tug and pull on your emotions because they know you have money in crypto so they can increase their views. Guys, I'm going to give you hope in this video. I'm going to be showing you, you know, long-term price predictions of the cryptocurrency. Let's start off, you know, with some really good news, right? This came out about a week ago. Um, basically the Deutsche Bank, I probably, you know, completely butchered that, but basically it's a bank, you know, a German multinational investment bank right here, the 17th largest bank in the world by total assets. So it's a big player in the world, huge player in the world. Okay. And this guy, Jim Reed, right? A research strategist for the Deutsche Bank basically dropped an article. Okay. And I'm going to open the article right now, as you can see here, right? I'm going to come here. It's called imagine 2030. Okay. Now this article is basically a futuristic prediction of what's going to happen to the world with technology, et cetera, et cetera, all this stuff. But the, the main point I want to point out here is that the first article in this, okay. Remember this is 17th biggest bank in the world. They have enough money to basically dominate cryptocurrency if they wanted to they have ridiculous sums of cash talked about the end of fiat currency okay this is the end this is why you know those the bitcoin dropping you know five to ten percent is not a big deal i don't care i don't care i don't look at it i can care less okay now if you have a hundred percent of your money in crypto of course i can see how you know you care about it you no one told you to put a hundred percent of your money in crypto but look these guys are basically talking about, you know, we lived in an era of fiat money since 1970s. You guys can go read it for yourself. You can look into it for yourself. But the overall gist here is he's predicting the collapse of fiat currency, basically money that's backed by a government. Why? Because government gives it value. There is no intrinsic value in the currency. Okay. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are commodities. They're deflationary. They can't be inflated. Like, you know, this is the same argument that we hear time and time again, guys. You know, the recession's around the corner. You know, if you don't know about this argument, the, the overall gist here is that governments are taking advantage of the money, okay? And with Bitcoin, we know mathematically in the code that it's deflationary and that they can't make any more Bitcoin than what's already promised, okay? So we know there's a fixed supply and nobody can take advantage of the money supply, okay? Nobody controls Bitcoin. That's the whole point, right? It's a separate entity. But if somebody controls the US dollar or the yen or the euro, well, they can take advantage of their people by staying on top. It's hard, it's hard to explain, but you can dive deep, deep into the article you know, yourself. You can look into you know, the labor forces and how basically China has been you know, the dominant of the labor force for the past whatever years and you know dive into the specifics i'll leave the link below but the the overall gist here i want to show you guys is that these banks are talking about the next 10 years he's saying you know 2030 
right? So when you're thinking about cryptocurrency, you got to be thinking about it in five to 10 years, okay? Stop looking at the daily price. It's going to mess you up. At one point, you know, when I had a lot of money in crypto, I was looking at it at three o'clock in the morning. I was literally waking up in the middle of the night to look and see if my money increased or de decreased. That is not a way to live. You do not want to live like that, okay? So let's just jump into, you know, uh, the price prediction of Ethereum, right? Because they're actually doing some interesting stuff. So another thing I want to look at here is basically a report by, uh, it's a developer report about by electronic capital. Okay. Why I want to look at this is because they have very, very fundamental statistics that we can look at. So the first thing, you know, it's a hundred and you know, four pages. I read it all. I mean, obviously I didn't like, you know, study it cause it's a lot, but I looked at it, skimmed through it. I, I highly advise that you guys look at it, okay? But specifically, I wanna use this for Ethereum, okay? So the reason why I like Ethereum so much, okay, compared to other altcoins is because, you know, it's a pretty safe bet uh, compared to other projects, right? Guys, like Ethereum most likely is gonna be here. That's why I have, you know, I would say 50% of my money in Bitcoin, okay? I have 40% of my money and ethereum and then the other 10 percent spread across altcoins so you know don't get it confused guys i talk about altcoins and everything and i do like them but this is the safest bet this is like what's most likely going to win let's just be honest here guys they have as you can see here ethereum ecosystem has four times the amount of developers of the next biggest eco, uh, ecosystem so they have four times the amount of developers than bitcoin right now that is the biggest indicator when you know predicting the future value of a company are they building and clearly ethereum's building why do you think i like talking about it so much right now as you can see here this is all the other ecosystems eos xrp bitcoin ethereum's just dominating that market it's because of the smart contracts it's because of what you can do right so this is the first page i wanted to look at there's another page here 63 that i wanted to jump to 63. okay so as you can see here you know, this is basically developer committed code, people committing code to change the project or show uh, basically making small minute changes. As you can see here, Ethereum is dominating. OK, as you can see here, they have the largest number of full time developers. OK, as you can see here, they have full time developers committing consistently. OK, guys, the proof is in the pudding. This is 104 pages. That's not my goal to dive into this. Um, we're doing price predictions, but I want to show you why this price prediction is probably more important than any other price prediction I've done, because chances are, if you buy some Ethereum, you're most likely going to win. I mean, there's other projects, you know, I talk about, you know, Cardano, I talk about basic attention token, all these projects are good and they're doing good things in the ecosystem, but they're not, you know, established ethereum's established okay if you want to take the safe route ethereum is definitely the way to go obviously none of the stuff i'm saying in this video is you know financial advice but i'm just throwing this out here these are my opinions if i was to make a bet which i already have ethereum's a safe bet it's as simple as that so let's jump to coin market cap let's get some statistics i'm going to open the price predictor calculator that i always use in my videos guys now if you don't have the price predictor calculator Check out my course, it's called Blockchain Basics. It teaches you how to send, receive, buy, sell, and store your cryptocurrencies the proper way. If you don't know how to navigate Internet 3.0, you're missing out, guys. You have to develop these skills before anybody else so you can be a profitable human being, okay? In this video, you know, in that course, I try to keep it simple. No one's promising any riches. I'm simply teaching you guys how to confidently navigate Internet 3.0. It's pretty, you know, basic, okay? So we're gonna have to, this was an older type of prediction. I did this a couple of days ago, so we're gonna have to tweak this a little bit. So, by the way, guys, I'm updating, I had a different different price predictor calculator um in my course i'm up i'm giving you guys this one i told you i'm constantly up updating the blockchain basics course and by the way guys it's you know 50 percent off for the holiday so take advantage because after christmas i'm definitely increasing the price back to 100 so let's jump here price of the coin today what is the price of the coin of ethereum today it's at 128 so we got to change some of this stuff stuff up let's just put 128 right there to round it up so 128 you can see that ethereum's dropping guys like recently it's been dropping and you know my goal is not to you know scare you guys or anything like that my goal is to give you like a a unique perspective the best advice I can give somebody in this market is just to simply do the exact opposite of what everybody else is doing so if you see in the news everybody's telling to sell cryptocurrency everybody's getting scared when there's blood in the streets 
you know, that's when you should be doing the exact opposite of what people are doing. And in my case, I'm buying cryptocurrency. When I got some extra money, I'm putting it into cryptocurrency. We're never going to see these prices again. Okay. But again, that's just my opinion. Now, this is financial advice. So we got 128 right here. Price of all time high was at $1,400. Price of all time low was at 42 cents. Okay. The total supply is right here. Okay. So as you can see here, just for some fun math, if you were to put $1,000 into cryptocurrency or into ethereum i should say right here um at its all-time low you would have got 2375 coins your percentage increase would have been three hundred and forty thousand percent right and you would have basically been a millionaire off of a thousand dollars you would have three point four million dollars off of a thousand dollars at the current at, if you would have sold it at the top so if you would have sold it you know at 1400 obviously nobody can do that but it's just some fun math to show you like that's the benefit of cryptocurrency guys you get these big parabolic swings that you see in no other traditional market you know it's just crazy madness you know i mean again this is very risky right but if you take your educated guesses you take safe bets like bitcoin and ethereum you're not playing around with you know some super unknown altcoin project right you know typically you'll get a return on your investment if you wait long enough that's how it works right so if you were to put a thousand dollars today into ethereum it would give you about 7.81 coins that's so crazy you would have got 2000 you're only getting 7.81 right now right and if it goes back to its all-time high so if it goes to 1400 again okay you'll have a thousand percent return so from a thousand bucks you're going to turn it into eleven thousand dollars not bad at all not bad guys you don't see that anywhere else don't take that lightly okay now for this price predictor we can play around this is this future investment right here is something we can play around but before we get into that i added something new to the price predictor calculator so basically the we know to get the coins price to predict the future price of a cryptocurrency you have to take their market cap okay so their market cap is basically how much money total is in this cryptocurrency divided by the coin circulating supply so how many cryptocurrencies are out there okay so the total supply and from what i heard is ethereum's increasing the total supply but we're just going to do some different case scenarios so there's a reason why you see all these numbers here i inputted it because there's no way to tell you know the the market cap and the coin supply that's the prediction part there's nobody if somebody on the internet's telling you they can predict it with ai or something like that they're lying to you okay there's no way to tell it but we can see okay well if 90 percent of the coin supply right what's going to be the price if you know 70 percent of the circulating supplies out there then what's going to be the price and then you can plan accordingly right so this all these numbers are basically the market caps of the world so this is not a market cap but it's just 1 billion the number 1 billion the number 10 billion the world silver which is 17 billion right we got 25 billion 50 billion the market cap of bitcoin which is 132 billion right all cryptocurrency together which is almost 200 billion now alphabet which is basically you know the the company govern governing google and all its google's subsidiaries and all the companies involved with google which is almost you know almost a trillion right we got berkshire hathaway which is 500 billion we got microsoft like all these numbers are basically market caps of the companies or you know the coins and bank notes bank notes are basically like dollars the federal reserve balance sheet all these mass sums of cash or mass i would say mass sums of value right we can do you know predictions and basically what i did is i automatically predicted it so you can see here all the market caps right this is how the price predictor calculator works all the market caps okay and then 50 percent of circulating supply so if 50 percent of the coins are put into the, are injected into the market okay what would be the price and these market caps all right and then what would be the price of my thousand dollar investment okay how much how much would my thousand dollar investment give me for 50 percent of the coin supply at these market caps i hope that makes sense to you run this video back if you have to let me just go through it one more time. So at 50% of the coins circulating supply, so 50% of the coins get injected into the market at these different market caps, which we can see at the right here. And I want to show you guys a physical representation of these market caps. So as you can see here, this is cryptocurrency. Now these are the biggest companies on earth. If we just pass that, right? If, if we make another social media that passes Facebook, look, $807 billion. We're only at 200 billion. 
right? That means that's a 4x growth. 50 rich, richest people on earth. We're not even past the 50 richest people on earth, right? And this is a world currency. It's a world currency. Keep, keep that in mind. We're just in the beginning stages. There's people that predict that there's less than 3% of people in cryptocurrency on earth. There's like, they said, I'm pretty sure they said it was like 2.75% of people on earth are in cryptocurrency. California's GDP, the money, like all these numbers, this is physical representation, right? So we come to the bottom here. We can see that this is all of the world's, look at these, look at, look at how crazy, derivatives is basically all the world's value. All the world's value. And then this is Bitcoin, one of these blocks. So you can see why a lot of people say, you know, 1%, if we're 1% correct about cryptocurrency, that's like a 10x, right? You can see that. Why, why people say that is because there's so much money in the world out there and we only have $200 billion in crypto. We're in its infancy straight stages. We're babies, right? This is, the cryptocurrency market is a baby market right now, okay? I want you guys to really understand that, okay? So let's do some math. So if we can see here, what's realistic for Ethereum, okay? Maybe a Microsoft or a Google market, market cap might be realistic. Let's look at it. So we can see here, Microsoft has $1 trillion in it. And then we have, uh, we have Google, which almost has 1 trillion. So maybe 1 trillion is kind of a good number because keep in mind, Google runs the whole infrastructure of the internet currently. And Ethereum is setting out to basically run the whole internet. Now, I'm not here to argue with you guys if, you know, Ethereum is going to pass Google and Microsoft and beat all these huge companies that have, you know, a, basically a, a monopoly on the world's data right now. But that's not my argument. But I'm saying if it ever gets to that potential in the future, this is what's going to be the prices of the coins. So as you can see here, let's go with Microsoft first. I'm going to highlight this, this one row right here. So if 50% of the coin supply, right, gets injected into the market, Okay, that means that one coin is going to be worth $14,000. So if we get to a $1 trillion market cap, about a $1 trillion, basically the market cap of Microsoft, that's a $14,000 coin, guys. That's a $14,000 coin. That's $110,000 off of this initial $1,000 investment. Think about that. That's ridiculous. Now that's, oh, Alex, well, what if more, you know, supply is injected? That's why I made this, right? So we have, come over here. Let's say 100% of the coin supply is circulating. So meaning, you know, all the coins that they possibly can make, I mean, it is an inflationary, guys. I know, you know, they say, but they, they don't have an actual number. Like nobody has said that there's an average of how much Ethereum is being created because Ethereum doesn't have a fixed supply like Bitcoin. But again, this is just a prediction, right? Nobody knows how much new Ethereum they're going to make. It's impossible to tell, right? So we're just kind of going by what's the total supply now. So if 100% of the total supply is now circulating supply, they injected all, they dumped all the cryptocurrency and everybody has access to it, right? One coin will be worth $7,000. So for your $1,000 investment, it's going to turn into 55 grand, okay? You could see you know how these percentage increases can play out like you see right here so if 80 percent of the circulating supply is injected right then we have an eight thousand eight hundred dollar coin with you know a 70 almost seventy thousand dollars off of a thousand dollars you guys can see why i like cryptocurrency because you know though it's very volatile though we can see you know negative 20 percent in one day right you never see that in the stock market it doesn't matter because when we go on these big parabolic movements the, when i originally got into ethereum and cryptocurrency i was mining it and buying it at seven to ten dollars guys the reason why it went up to like 150 where it's at now originally was because ethereum basically partnered the ethereum alliance which is a group and organization of companies that are trying to make ethereum work right they basically they um they got in cahoots with you know jp morgan they basically added them to the ethereum alliance and then the price of ethereum went crazy it just skyrocketed a whole bunch of people bought it so if something happens if they make a revolutionary technology a revolutionary smart contract whatever the case is right they do something really great which if you understand how blockchain technology works you understand that there's no other route right guys blockchain developers just this year the people that are coding on the blockchain increased by 507 percent okay there's people the smartest people in the world are developing on the blockchain that's how it works and all of the developers seem to be going to Ethereum, okay? So I want you guys to take all this into consideration. If you have the world's smartest people working on a project, the chances of it taking off, the chances of it doing something like, you know, Google or doing something like, you know, Facebook increase over time.
right? And we see a lot of developers that are jumping into Ethereum. So when I make these predictions, keep that in mind. You know, it's not that far off, right? Now let's let's get a little bit more conservative. Let's say, you know, Ethereum passes Bitcoin, which I don't believe it will, but let's say it does, and it becomes, you know, the same market cap of all of cryptocurrency. Well, that means that you'll have about a twenty-four hundred dollar price at 50 percent circulating supply that will give you eighteen thousand dollars off of a thousand dollar investment all these numbers are just absolutely ridiculous i'm sure a lot of traditional investors don't look at my videos because when they see this they immediately think it's just way too good to be true this number is off right here i gotta fix that but you understand where i'm going here guys like it's just absolutely ridiculous like these gains right so let me let me show you for example let's say all crypto let's be very conservative to say all the coins are injected into the market well that's a 1200 hundred dollar coin that's a 12 that's pretty conservative being that you know ethereum at one point was at 1400 dollars is extremely conservative a 1200 hundred dollar coin that means off of your thousand dollar investment you'll have about nine thousand five hundred dollars these numbers are not bad so i mean you can look at this in any way you want guys you can like play with the numbers you can see the future circulating supply you know you can make your predictions Oh, maybe I am a little bit crazy and you know, I think this is very conservative. You know, I think that, you know, in the next five years, we're going to see the market cap at least increase by 50% of all cryptocurrency. We're going to see various. And I, th I believe that Ethereum is going to capture a lot of that value. It's going nowhere, but up, you know, Bitcoin's been the best producing asset of the last decade, as well as 2019, you know, Bitcoin went from 3k okay to like about fourteen thousand dollars and now we're back at six grand even that jump from six three to six k is a hundred percent okay that's a double you doubled your money there's no other asset in 2019 that has done that so being that you know they take advantage of the people that don't understand this but you know the 3k to 6k i mean the 3k to 14k jump right no they were talking about everybody's going crazy but then they really capitalize on the fact that it went from 13K to 6K, but they don't tell you that three to 6K is phenomenal. So guys, hold it over long periods of time and you won't feel so bad. That was the purpose of this video, really guys, to give you guys some hope on the cryptocurrency market. You know, I'm not gonna talk about the negatives of what's going on because quite frankly, all those negatives are gonna just blow right over, guys. This is the de decentralization of the internet. Their technology is revolutionary. We've never seen anything like this, guys. That's why it's one of those things. It's like, are you, are you in it or not? Do you understand it or not? It's really that simple, guys. And the first movers always have that advantage. But that's it for this video, guys. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with this technology, you will get left behind. And before I go, guys, really quickly, I have a video that I'm doing. I'm giving away $100 worth of cryptocurrency. All you have to do is come over here to this video, not the one that you're watching, but if you come, I'm not gonna leave the link for you guys because I want you to actually try and click this video right here, watch it, how to make money online as a teenager. I'm giving away $100 worth of Bitcoin. Watch it to the end and on the end, I'll show you exactly how to get that money. I'm doing the giveaway at the end of the month. So on the 30th of December, I'm giving away hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin. Make sure you enter the contest at least, right? That's the least you can do to try and make some money, right? But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you like the content. Catch you in the next video.